escalating concerns about 17 students' unions that campaign for a boycott of Israel. Support for the BDS movement has been growing on British campuses, but critics accuse it of fueling anti-Semitism and attacks against Jewish students. John Ironmonger has this exclusive story. No one protected us. No one was there to keep us safe. No one was there for the aftermath of it. No one asked if we were okay. People breaking it through windows, banging on the doors. I thought I was in the middle of a war between pro-Israeli students and pro-Palestinian students. It's probably fair to say that students are among the most politically engaged people in society. They're known for having strong opinions, for standing together on things like climate change, tuition fees and civil rights. But there's one subject that ignites students and bitterly divides them, and that is Israel. The Jewish state of Israel is deeply controversial, accused of wide-ranging human rights abuses against the Palestinian people and provoking anger around the world. So when you have these sort of situations... We've heard from Jewish students here who claim they've become scapegoats for anti-Israel hostility, subjected to verbal harassment, even physical attacks. And we've found that some student bodies are now being investigated for ignoring a legal duty to protect them. Devorah Kaffee goes to Queen Mary University in London. She says she's been targeted time and again for having a connection with Israel. Have you ever taken any of these attacks personally? A hundred percent. You know, it's not, it's not about political opinions anymore. It's more about if I ever express a viewpoint in class or on social media, I get comments, you know, in public or in private, saying, you know, oh, that's a Jewish girl, and pointing behind my back and whispering. She says the abuse turned physical at UCL in October when she attended a speech given by a former officer in the Israel Defense Force. This one girl used her back and pushed me against the doors and I was screaming for her to get off me. Um, my friend helped me get out of the crowd because I felt very claustrophobic. And outside I had a panic attack and I just I couldn't breathe. I felt like my chest was kind of tightening up. The event was hijacked by pro-Palestinian students who claimed the speaker was complicit in human rights abuses. <laughs> It was eventually moved to a secret location. We were running towards the room and my friends got inside. I saw protesters running around campus trying to look for us. And one of my friends had a Jewish skull cap and I was about to tell him to take it off. And I felt really disgusted in myself that I was, that I, that thought would even come to my head. So you felt then that you had to shield your identity? Yeah, no, definitely. And it just, you know, my, my grandparents were refugees. They left Afghanistan because they were Jewish. And yet here I am, you know, as, as a proud Jewish student in the modern age, you know, at UCL, and I, and I still had to do this. Police were called to prevent further clashes, and the event was able to proceed. But footage we've obtained shows protesters shouting shame at Jewish students as they left the venue. How has this sort of thing affected your everyday life at university? It has been hard. It's been two years of just, I guess, constant fighting for our freedom of speech, our rights, you know, our well-being. Um, I've definitely missed a lot of deadlines, for example. I've got a few extensions. I've had counselling. I've had a few like, anxiety episodes where it's been really hard. Not all Jewish students share the same views. Sai Englert is a member of the Palestine Society at SOAS. There's this kind of image that, you know, the Palestine Society is running wild, that it's very dangerous for Jewish students, etc. And that is something that I uh, don't recognize at all. When there are cases of uh, unfair 
harassment if there's cases of racism. I actually think the Palestine movement and its organizations and its kind of official representatives and cadres, etc., is actually very careful to acknowledge that, to uh, condemn it, to distance itself from it. Anti-Semitism at British universities has doubled, according to one charity. Incidents like Nazi graffiti, abuse and assaults increased from 21 in 2015 to 41 last year. But we've heard claims the bodies which represent students are part of the problem. Students' unions, in increasing numbers, have been voting to adopt strict anti-Israel policies under the banner of a global movement called BDS, Boycott, Divestment, Sanctions. SOAS Students' Union in London has been leading the charge. In 2015, they held a BDS referendum. Why are we allowing Israel in the 21st century to get away with this crime? It's about ending Israeli impunity and ending complicity of those institutes and bodies, etc., that we might be a part of that are also complicit. It's about ending our own complicity too. BDS pressures Israel to end the occupation of Arab lands by calling for the boycott of Israeli companies and institutions. I think SOAS, in a lot of ways, is a beacon, actually, for a lot of other universities. It's so important that we lead this movement. Since the referendum at SOAS, many more students' unions have signed up to the movement. But some people claim that BDS is threatening the welfare of Jewish students. So student unions talk a lot about safe space, and I think a space which is sort of specifically, explicitly uh, boycotting of Israel is not a safe space for Israeli students or for many other students who have various kinds of links to Israel, or for other students who simply are worried by the politics of the singling out of Israel as a specific unique evil on the planet. So do you think these student unions in question may be in danger of um, alienating? Their members that are Jewish? I think it's profoundly alienating for most Jewish students. Most Jewish students have as part of their Jewish identity some kind of attachment or relationship to Israel. In total we found 17 students unions that have endorsed BDS and they include some of the largest in the UK like Manchester and UCL. But are they doing anything wrong? Since 2010, students' unions have become registered charities, and this means they now have a legal duty to act in the interests of their members. Political campaigns must not become their focus, and they're not allowed to comment publicly on issues that don't affect the welfare of their members as students. We raised these findings, and the Charity Commission has confirmed it is now examining concerns about the involvement of a number of students' union charities in the BDS movement. It said the concerns would be assessed consistently while taking into account the circumstances of each individual charity, and that, where appropriate, they may need to take regulatory action. I went to a Queen Mary event, uh, an event at Queen Mary, uh, talking about BDS and so on. Uh, with a couple of friends. There was a lot of hate speech going on basically against Israel. As soon as we started asking questions, they got, um, they started saying, you're sent by the embassy, and everyone started kind of booing at us. You're Mossad agents. Your state is a fantasy world for Jews. It's all horrible. And then next to us was a guy sitting, and he started saying very kind of intimidating stuff towards the girls that were with me, um, sexist stuff. And as we left the event, we saw that we were being followed um, by this guy. And we had to run to the station because we'd heard about this guy being particularly hostile. I just thought, like, this is not how I'm supposed to be feeling because I've asked questions during a debate at a university. What's fueling this anti-Semitism, if you like, on campus? I think when institutions accept BDS, when a student union accepts BDS, when the National Union of Students accepts BDS. When you have your own professors signing petitions to boycott Israel, when you see the pro-Palestinian cause kind of twist into an anti-Israel cause, and that's the whole problem with the retro news, it's not pro-Palestinian, it's anti-Israel. When you see that happening, you understand this is what's fueling anti-Semitism.
Isaac isn't alone. The NUS, which is a confederation of 600 students' unions, held a survey this month of their Jewish members. The vast majority of respondents felt uncomfortable with their students' union having a BDS policy. But the NUS themselves backed BDS in 2015. They refused to be interviewed for this programme and failed to provide us with a statement. Our request for comment from the BDS National Committee was also declined. And of the students' unions we contacted that have passed boycott motions, only SOAS was prepared to talk to us. The idea that somehow supporting BDS, supporting boycott, academic boycott, etc., is a kind of a blank boycott on individuals, I think is very dangerous. It's not. It's about saying we don't want institutional links, economic links, political links with institutions, uh, governments, companies that are complicit in the attacks on rights. The BDS movement that proposes referenda, it doesn't uh, propose uh, to shut down any political event. On the contrary, it proposes to open them, to involve as many people as possible. Everybody, whatever their background and ideas, should be allowed to be involved in the union and take part in them. Now that shouldn't stop us from making decisions and from overturning those decisions. It's decisions that possible. alienate certain students? I think all decisions, I mean, uh, national elections alienate everybody that loses, that votes for the losing part. But the government Democracy. isn't a charity though. Sure, and then maybe there's a question about whether students' unions should be charities. I think when student unions encompass this one-sided view, it's kind of expressing to everyone as a fact that, you know, Israelis are in the wrong, they're, they're the enemy of human rights in the world, they're an enemy to peace in the region. If you look behind the BDS lens, they call for these things that are not peaceful, they harm Jewish students and pro-Israel students, um, and they don't support um, a peaceful atmosphere on campus. Still to come.